Like I said from the beginning, 90% of agents don't make it in this business. And if you're making any kind of excuse whatsoever, what side of that do you think you're part of the 10% or part of the 90%? You know what I mean? What part of that statistic are you gonna fall under at the end of the day? You've got to be in the top 10% just to squeeze, just to barely make it. Not to be like a millionaire, but just to barely be an average agent that barely squeezes by. You gotta be in the top 10%. So if you're making excuses, you know, and you're gonna quit after three months of making calls and you you haven't sold a property yet and that and that makes you want to quit then you need to go ahead and quit you know what I mean and go back to doing whatever you're trying to do so I don't know man I'm at the same level right now I'm trying I'm building other businesses I'm doing other things that are monstrous mountains in front of me that people could look at and say you know that's too hard you know but I'm Ricky Carruth you know I have DNA inside of me that will not allow me will not allow me to stop listen to me listen to what I'm saying here please there's an unlimited amount of loyal clients loyal which means they'll never use another agent yeah you'll have clients that use you and use another one to come back to you and do all that stuff I'm talking about loyal unlimited amount of loyal clients unlimited more than you'll ever get to for each and every one of you problem is y'all haven't put the work in to find them once you realize closings happen every day business is unlimited it brings you down to one more key point and that is that competition ceases to exist business is unlimited guys and competition doesn't exist do you understand people live in the life they want to live because like the pers people's perspective your perspective shapes how you look at certain things and then therefore dictates the actions that you take daily and then that that's what determines your at your your results and if you can have a different perspective so many people's perspective is so backwards it's just completely just it needs to be completely recalibrated to the point of understanding how great uh, and, and how how wonderful of a, of a life this is and we, like, we're taking all this for granted guys you know last year we woke up in a world where we couldn't go to restaurants we couldn't see our family we couldn't work for the most part you know we had some of the most simple things in life taken away from us and we really need to take a step back and um, start to appreciate more like even the fact that we wake up and breathe every day is like you know if you really sit down and think about it it's just something amazing you need to be like a byproduct of how much work you're putting in how many seeds you're planting relationships you're creating it's just a byproduct of you just trying to do the right thing and help people use this career of yours of selling real estate as a mechanism to just help people but you you shouldn't be focused on transactions you should be a hundred percent focused on collecting data and building relationships transactions will just happen right you'll crush 2021 if you're focused on 2023 because you're not going to care what you make in 2021 when 2023 rolls around you're only going to care about what you make in 2023 and the amount of money you make in 2023 is only going to be predicated on the work that you put in in 2021 in terms of how many people you talk to and relationships you created and the brand that you built.